Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. Today I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to talk about my favorite tool which is the brush tool of Adobe Animate CC. And I'm really excited about this video because I'm terrible at painting but honestly whenever I draw with these three kind of brush tools my drawing doesn't look that bad, okay? So without any further ado, let's get started. So first, if you cannot find your brush tools on your left panel, the tool panel, then just click on this edit toolbar and you will see these three kind of brush tool, the classic brush tool, the fluid brush tool and the paint brush tool. So just add them into your toolbars. On your right side, you have basically two kind of properties, right? Your tool and your document. So what does this document mean? Your document panel basically shows the properties of your entire document, okay? The profile, the size of your document the height and the width then the stage color you can just change your stage color but always try to keep it white if you don't need any other color also the frame the frame size it is 30 okay so these are the basic document properties and we do not need to know about these right now just go to your tool now what does this tool panel contain right this tool panel contains all the information about the tool the tool that you have selected on your left on your toolbar panel whatever tool you select it will contain all the information about that specific tool so when you click on the pen tool or the eraser tool it contains the uh, properties of your eraser when you click on this pen tool it contains the information of your pen tool when you click on your brush tool this properties panel will contain the information of your brush tool so when you click on this classic brush tool these options appear the size of your brush the smoothness of your drawing of that brush okay so the size first keep it on 12 okay and we have this red color we do not have to select the colors from here because when you click on this properties panel the tool panel you will see the fill color the color which will be used for drawing okay this color will be selected and you can change the color according to your wish if you choose purple you can draw with it if you increase the size you can draw thicker lines okay and the smoothing so basically when I drew this you see the curves the curves and the edges of our drawing is really smooth but if you keep it on zero and now if you draw something you see the edges are very uneven okay so let's delete all this mess and draw something new if you draw something with the size at 74 and you have drawn so many zigzag lines okay you see the smoothness there is no smoothness right the edges are very uneven but if you increase the smoothness to 100 you draw it you see the edges are really smooth sorry it is so smooth compared to this one okay this one and this one has the difference of their drawing smoothness okay so this is what this smooth option does okay always click on this zoom size with stage and now the most important thing about this video is object drawing and the brush mode and then we'll talk about the brush type okay okay no let's first talk about the brush type there are various kind of brush type um, if you click on this round brush see your brush is round if you click on this square brush see your brush is a square if you click on this what kind of brush is that I don't know so see this kind of brush tool is more like a small rectangle okay so you can choose your brush type whatever you want to choose so now let's move on to this object drawing mode so what is this tool basically just draw two circles okay and go for your selection tool and click on this object see both of the object are selected together right because they are considered as one object right now click on your brush tool again and click on this object drawing mode and see it is selected now draw two circles again now go for your selection tool and select this you see this circle and this circle are two separate objects not one these two are counted as one individual these two are counted as separate individuals okay so this is what the object drawing mode does okay it helps your drawing a lot now let's learn about this brush modes okay so before learning about brush modes i have to clear the screen and i have to prepare my screen for five different examples okay so just give me a minute i'm fast forwarding my video a bit okay so 
here you can see I have a green field I have a red cloud which doesn't have anything inside it's empty and this red another cloud another red cloud is filled with red color so now select your classic brush tool and just look at this option brush mode okay what is this brush mode it has five different options basically paint normal and paint fill are quite similar I don't really differentiate them um, so let's learn about the paint normal okay paint normal you select this and you go for a lighter green color suppose you want to draw green grass on this green field okay let's draw a grass on top of our field okay you see I have drawn a grass and I'm filling this with the paint bucket tool sorry now let's draw another grass fill it with the paint bucket tool sorry again okay now what if I want to draw the grass but I do not want this lower portion okay the lower portion of my grass to be seen on top of this field which means right now the grass is on top of the field I want this green grass lower portion to be under of this field how can I do that now you have to go to the paint brush tool and you have to click on paint behind okay paint behind you have clicked on this paint behind and now draw a grass again see the magic the grass the lower portion of the grass is under your field not on top of your field so this is what the paint behind tool does now go to your brush tool again and click on paint selection okay click on paint selection you go to this selection tool you select this red cloud which I have drawn earlier you click on this classic brush tool and see I have selected this paint selection tool now make the size bigger and color it see I have colored the entire place but only this selected portion which I have selected is colored with the green because I have the color green chosen and it was a red cloud and I have clicked on this paint selection and this was my selected portion and when I have colored it only this selected portion was colored all the other things are free from the coloring okay now let's go to another option the paint inside what is this paint inside this is an object which doesn't have any gap right this is your object and now select the red color again now go to your brush okay you can select the color from here as well okay go to your brush make the size medium and now paint it try to paint it with one stroke only okay so you see this is this was a blank space and I have colored it with red so basically this is what we can do with these three uh, these five kind of uh, brush molds okay and paint fill is something like that okay you can just We'll do the similar kind of thing with the paint normal and one more thing that I should um, show you is the fluid brush tool and it's a very interesting one go to your fluid brush tool and now there are so many options right so many options okay select the beautiful color let's select the blue one okay blue one now let's delete all the extra layers okay we have layer one and now let's draw anything let's draw anything you see the fluid brush is so amazing it looks so unique and artistic seems like a genie is coming out of somewhere okay so this is what this fluid brush tool is all about it is more like a greasy kind of liquid kind of uh, brush tool which helps to draw watery kind of um, paintings okay so now you see all the options over here this object drawing mode this brush mode it is it is completely similar to the classic brush tools so I'm not going to talk about those I'm going to talk about these options okay first let's check out the size okay you increase the size the size is bigger you decrease the size the size is smaller now let's talk about the pressure the pressure means when you start drawing how much pressure the previous point will get okay increase the size a bit and keep your pressure on minus 50 minus 60 okay and zoom in your stage now when you draw it you see the corner portions the end and the very first portion is thin and the inside portion is also thin now what if I increase the pressure to 75 it was earlier it was minus 60 right now I have increased it to 75 now draw this similar thing see the end point and the starting point is thin but the middle part is so thick this is what the pressure is about earlier it was minus 60 the starting point and the end point 
inside the middle point pressure was minus 60 was really low okay so basically it uh, controls the thickness the thickness of the outer portions and the inner portions okay and if you increase it it makes your inner portion really fat thick and the outer portions are thin right this point and this point is thin but this point is really thick okay so this is the pressure pressure option and the size option and now delete all these okay delete them now what does this tapper tool does you draw anything just keep the pressure on 22 and you draw anything okay this is your drawing see this is the end point this is the starting point the middle point is thick but these two points are thin okay very sharp kind of thin okay what if you increase the tapper to 100 you will see the end point and the starting point will become more sharp very um the it looks like the edge of a pencil okay very sharp and very thin okay now what if you keep your tapper on zero what happened is there any thin edge of the starting or the ending point no not at all so this is what the tapper means the last and the first point thickness okay what is this angle very easy the angles and how it controls the angle of your um if you keep it on 180 it will make your angles more uh, precise if you keep it on a zero it will it, it will not uh, focus more on your angles okay so the angles over here is really sharp and very visible but in this one it's it's, it's very it's not that precise that clear okay and the roundness the roundness of your brush okay you see if you increase the roundness you draw something similar it is more round okay it is more round uh, one point if when you go to one point from another it is more it keeps the roundness uh, very uh, big okay and if you do the similar thing you see it is not round it is more round than this one the angles the changes of one point from another it is more round the changes are more roundish and this is more uh, sharp okay now what is this curve smoothing very easy this is a curve this is also curve. these curves are very smooth than this one okay also what is what does this stabilize, stabilizer do delete all this honestly speaking stabilizer doesn't make that change but it has some use uh, which is basically the very little fluctuations that your curves might have okay it controls those okay it, it is very hard to figure those out with your bare eyes but you see it was done with the high stabilizer and you see this point is very smooth but this line was drawn this drawing this object was drawn with uh, two stabilizer the point was two only two and you see it is very uneven okay the outline is very uneven draw anything and it looks very uneven okay go closer see it's very uneven but when you keep it on 100 and you draw something again see it is so smooth so smooth okay basically it controls the smoothing of your drawing just like the uh, curve uh, the classic brush tool okay now we are done with our fluid brush tool i love this fluid brush tool because it gives such a greasy kind of watery fluidish kind of uh, look to my drawings so i just love it and it makes my work real easier um and you know i'm a really bad painter so it's very easy to deal with okay that's why i love it now go to the paintbrush tool it is very easy before using this paintbrush tool i'm going to show you the most important thing about this paintbrush tool which is customized paintbrush tool what is this customized paintbrush tool select any color and draw anything that you want okay stroke size let's keep it on 19 and draw a word s yes. okay draw a word o okay now what if you want this object o or object s to become a brush brush stroke okay how can you make it a brush stroke click on your selection tool and select this s you select this s and you right click on it and go to create paint brush okay click on select proportionately okay and it is your art brush okay its name is paint brush okay its name should be paint brush one and add as soon as you have added it you see go to your paint brush tool and this s is added to your style of your brush now what if you draw something you click on this and you see the s is drawn you are not drawing the s the brush is drawing the s you just click over here click over here the s is drawing by itself because you have created this specific object as your brush you added this object as your brush and you can also change the smoothing see this one is very smooth than this one you can change the stroke size this is bigger than this one you can make it more big See, it's bigger so this is how you add customized paint brush tools in your brush library now what if 
you do not create customized brush you want to use the built-in brushes so where can you find this built-in brushes click on this paint brush tool click on this brush library okay now keep your eye on this style see it was our s that we have that we have created as a stroke style right now this one is our s which was our brush and you see the brush library go to the arrows arrows is standard arrows is special arrows is special suppose i love this arrow and i want to create it as a brush now double click on it and you see the style changed now if you draw anything it will become an arrow earlier it was uh, it was our painting right it was our drawing our customized brush s so this is how you use your brush library brushes there are plenty of brushes okay decorative elegant curl okay so from this elegant i love this one it's, it's a cloud half cloud okay uh, so i'm going to double click on it and you see it's, it, it changed right now i'm drawing a cloud a blue cloud a curved blue cloud i'm drawing a straight cloud a straight cloud i'm drawing a very curvy cloud see it's a curved cloud so this is how we can use the built-in paint brush tools and earlier i have showed you the customized paint brush tools and also we talked about the classic brush tool and fluid brush tool if you have any further questions kindly comment on my video and let me know what what kind of queries do you have let me tell you one thing in this entire video the most important portion was this five options that you should completely and very carefully learn because this these are the five options that make your work very easier and do not forget to subscribe my channel follow my facebook page and uh, kindly like my video if you like it and do share it with your friends thank you so much everyone have a nice day